Some people believe that a time will come where technology is so advanced that it'll make machines even smarter than humans. And that time may be closer than we realize. Zoltan Ishvan is one of the world's leading transhumanists, an intellectual movement that aims to transform the human condition with technology. After an unsuccessful bid for the US presidency, he's now hoping to run for California governor. The number one goal of transhumanism is trying to extend life dramatically because transhumanists don't want to die. People like me just say, you know, death is really not something that I want to experience under any circumstances. So your goal in life is to no longer be a human being? Yeah, it's time to get rid of the, the biological human body. Uh, this is frail. This was made to die. Because I'm a non-believer, I don't think there's anything really afterwards. So for me, I want to create something where it is lasting. I'm a big believer that we can use all science and technology, all the tools that our fingers can, you know, get our hands around, that we can change our worlds for the better. And that can include things like robots, like artificial intelligence. When you talk about designer babies, you talk about genetic engineering, you talk about merging with machines. The human body is just a machine and we can tamper with that machine, we can change that machine. In fact, I have a chip implant and my chip implant can open my front door, can send you text messages, can turn on and off computers and bypass uh, passwords. So there's a lot of different things that biohacking and modifying your body can already do. Our computational power could be a million times more complicated than our brain. We might have feelings that we've never had in our lives before because now we finally can feel them. We're gonna gain this ability to be kind of like super people. And that could be include super love, super care, uh, super kindness. It also seems like he's living his best life, but it's a kind of a contradiction because he's enjoying the, the fruits of nature, yet wants to really mess or interfere with that at the same time. The idea of interfering with the human body and the human mind, it's quite disturbing. You know, he wants to be superhuman, hyper empathetic, hyper fun, hyper everything. We're all so perfect, we're living our perfect life. And life just isn't like that.